Hi guys. Look out there. It is still gloomy. <laughs> it is still raining. It's kind of let up a little bit right now. Um, I have the weather channel on because I guess there's flooding in Wisconsin and later on we might get some thunderstorms. I'm telling you what, I'm tired of the rain. And I know there's probably a lot of um, other people who want rain, but I wish it would go that way because I'm tired of it. And then my poor son, we got a huge um, delivery of firewood for our fire pit for the fall. <laughs> He's looking at me like, why are you recording? Um, for the fall and early winter when it's not too cold so we can have bonfires outside. It's been way too hot most of the summer to have fires. So, okay, now that you've had your weather uh, report for Michigan, <laughs> I took Magnum to the vet this morning to get um, his Lepo Distemper Parvo. Um, they tried to talk me into the canine flu vaccine, but... I talked to them a little bit about it. I told them my boys don't go anywhere except for walks. Um, and they said that their risk is very minimal. So um, I'm not going to get the uh, canine uh, vac flu vaccination. I decided against it. They said it is treatable if they get it. The problem is they don't want it to get to pneumonia. But if you guys know, I'm always home with my boys and I always know when something's wrong. So, um, but like I said, they said it's, their risk is very minimal since I groom them. They don't go to doggy daycare. They don't get boarded and, um, they don't go to dog parks. I don't take them to the pet store. I did take Miggy, um, this one last time because I had to fit them for new harnesses, but Usually they are in the house. So, um, that being said, he I took in a stool sample and they retested it. And he probably looks a little tired because he gets very nervous at the vet. And um, as soon as we walk in, his legs turn to jello. <laughs> he acts like he can't walk on their tile floor, even though he walks on my tile floor just fine. He gets very nervous and they gave him Benadryl too because when he was a puppy he had a reaction I think to the lepto. I, I can't remember which one he had a reaction to because they gave him multiple at once. So could be, be it could have been because he had too many at one time. Uh, it could have been a certain one. I don't know. It may not happen again but they gave him Benadryl, a shot of Benadryl uh, to kick in for 10 minutes before they gave him his vaccine so he could be tired from that too. But, um, they did a stool sample, like I was saying, and he still tested positive for the coccidia, the parasites. So, if you remember, they were supposed to call me when they got enough medication in for all my boys, the pan pan panazarel, I believe it's called, um, so I could treat all of them. Well, they never called me. So, I've got enough, and I'm going to treat all the boys because they said if he is getting a little piece of poop that someone else may have the parasite um that may be why he still has it so i'm gonna treat them all for it i get enough medication for them i give them a dose today and then i give them another dose in a week and then um the following week he wants me to bring a sample of magnum's uh stool and then just a random one of the other boys uh to get tested and i'll probably take mozzie's because Whenever my boys eat poop, it seems to be Mozzie's poop. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. I can't explain it. Um, so he said one of the main culprits of coccidia is if dogs eat bunny poop. I've never seen a bunny in our backyard. I've only seen squirrels and chipmunks, which have greatly been reduced because I bought new... Um, I bought new bird feeders and there's barely anything on the ground now with these bird feeders and they're also uh, bird feeders that if a squirrel gets on them they can't get into the food. I'll have to show you one day. Um, so there's been barely, I mean I rarely see a squirrel now or uh, chipmunks in my backyard because of doing that. And Mozzie, I guess these parasites can live in them for a while and you wouldn't see any problems with them like diarrhea and vomiting I guess. And Mozzie 
Well, all of them in our old house used to run out. I mean, there'd be bunny poop everywhere in our other house. So maybe one of the other dogs has had it, but has had no symptoms from it. I don't know. Um, and then if he is eating their poop, that's how he got it. I don't know. I have no idea. But anyway, I wanted to show you this. Okay, let me see if I'm showing any addresses on this first. Let me make sure. Uh, no, my address isn't on this. Okay. So, um, this is my bill from when Magnum was diagnosed with the roundworms the, and the coccidia, all that stuff. Um, which he, and now, and they also told me the roundworms are gone. All he has is the coccidia uh, still. But if you look at the Panazarel here, for four milliliters, it cost me $20. Now, this is quantity four. Now on my new bill from today, which was $145.11 because I got Kittenis Revolution, a um, couple of vaccinations, the parasite test, and then, okay, so the Panazarol here, quantity 40, only cost me $38. Don't that seem weird to you guys? They got four milliliters here, quantity four, costing me 20. And now I'm treating all five of my boys with it, and it was only $38. Does that seem like a ripoff? <laughs> Do you think maybe they charged me wrong? I don't know. I mean, I'm glad it only cost me $38. Don't get me wrong. And that's going to treat them for the two, both uh, doses they have to have. And when I got his second dose, Magnum's second dose, they charged me another $20. So it cost me $40 to treat him last time, and it's costing me $38 to treat all five. Something's wrong there. <laughs> Something's wrong there. I don't know. So anyways, just wanted to give an update on that. Um, I was going to groom Mozzie today. I'm going to groom one dog a day. Um, but the lighting is so bad from the rain and I wanted to show grooming Mozzie's legs because he's the toughest to groom his legs. Um, so I wanted to do it on him to show a difficult dog, but I think I'm gonna wait till, today is Tuesday, I think I'm gonna wait till, um, see how the weather is tomorrow, and I know Thursday it's supposed to be sunny, because I don't have all those fancy lights and all that to, uh, brighten it up when I'm filming. So, um, I think I'm going to wait till tomorrow or Thursday to film that video. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. May not be out till Friday or Saturday. We'll see. So anyways, yeah. So Magnum did okay at the vet. He growled at a lot of dogs. He growled when they gave him his shot. Um, Benadryl. <laughs> he does not like going to the vet at all. I mean, what dog does? My other dogs tolerate it, but he just, he gets so nervous. I feel so bad for him. And he's just worn out. So maybe it's good they gave him Benadryl. Let him take a little nap. Uh, shake those nerves off. <laughs> okay, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. And like I said, I'll have that video on the legs um, sometime at the end of this week. Talk to you guys later.